artist Ron White, and we're here at the Akron Summit Art Space. Lastly, we were at the Barberton Summit Art Space, and at the Barberton Summit Art Space, it's mural driven there, larger space. Here at the Akron Studios, they're a little bit smaller, so here I focus on portrait sculpture, and the portraits are a little bit larger than life size, one and a half times life size, and then their focus is in two or three areas. One is uh, politics, um, social kind of settings, and then more uh, personal observations in life. Whenever I was younger, my father owned a construction company and he would be hired to do these really gigantic houses with gable roofs and um, Victorian kind of interiors and the house would settle crooked and we would always have to problem solve for measurements because none would ever be symmetrical. Uh, and even in my youth, for some reason, I would always come up with really good answers that would then drive the building, uh, remodeling of the interior. Um, Along with that, then, I had access to my father's tools and studios, so for high school projects, I would even build stuff, sculpt stuff. Uh, sketches would occur to make those things happen. Um, and by the time I was in high school, I was like known as the art kid. Um, would do all kinds of murals and sculptures around for the community. Even in grad school, they tried to force me to make a decision on one art form, and I, I can never do that. Um, so for my uh, master's thesis show, I had a bunch of uh, life-size figural sculptures and murals simultaneously, but they would only accept the sculptures as the master's degree at that time. Um, and I still kept trying to listen to them and focus in one category, but it just kept branching out. So now I'm an ice carver and a portrait bust person and a figure sculptor and a mural drawer. Every art space has an art walk within their community. Like Barberton's is every fourth Friday because sometimes there's five. So here in Akron, they have two of them. Um, and I want to make sure everybody knows there's two because it started out just being the first Saturday and then um, Akron wanted to put forth another one and sort of get rid of the Saturday, but it's not true. We have both of them. The other one is um, every third Thursday. So we're open for both. And on the Thursday nights, like I said earlier, that's when I teach a public class. So you could maybe go get something to eat and then come take the class later. Um, but at any one of those art walks, you can come in and you can see me working on usually a bust right here in my studio. Um, but like I said, I just entered a piece into the um, Akron Art Pie Prize High Arts show downstairs. So there's not anything currently I'm working on. The awards in the community that I've received is I won the first um, Akron Art Prize and I placed in a couple others. And that show's gonna go on here very soon. I think in a week, um, that show's gonna be set up. And uh, please come to the show. Uh, the driving force is that you come to the show, you vote, and who you vote for wins the show. Uh, and that's gonna be a month long. Then in a couple of weeks, there's gonna be a show for Akron Society of Artists at St. Paul's. And then in October the 27th, at um, Nine Muses Gallery at the Cave Coffee in Barberton. I'm gonna have all my large scale murals, five foot by 15 foot, there's like three or four of them, that are gonna be all exhi and exhibit all at one time in that space. Here at Summit Art Space uh, Akron, I teach classes here as well, and they're Thursday nights from seven to nine, Friday sort of evenings from five o'clock to eight o'clock, and then Saturday afternoons anywhere from 12 to four in the two hour segment in there.